Okay, so um, I'm gonna start doing these uh, recap videos. Um, for you guys that don't know me, uh, my name's Alejandro. Um, Alejandro Schultz. Um, I've been learning the skill of trading for around like a year now. I'd say like a year, maybe a little less. Um, and I've been actually trading for around um, seven to eight months. I'm trying to pass right now, so like, I'm trying to pass a 5K account, a 5K funder account. Um, so yeah, this is basically a trade recap, June 3rd. Um, took a trade on Euro USD, And I just wanna show you guys a recap. Basically show you guys what I saw and maybe helps you guys out. Maybe you just wanna see it, maybe you don't, but so yeah. So usually when I trade, um, I always look at the 15 minute, I look at the 15 to five minute and then I'll enter on the one minute. Um, so basically what we saw is, um, I usually wake up like at 8.45, 8.55 a.m. Um, Eastern time. So what did I see? We see this breaker structure right here that I um, that I marked out with this um, line right here, with this blue line right here. So that we broke structure to the upside. Once we break structure to the upside like this, I would like to see um, imbalances. Like we see an imbalance right here. On the 15, draw this out. We see a uh, imbalance on the 15. We see how it respects it and keeps moving higher. That's what I saw, right? Um, this was at 8:45 at nine. Okay, so I was, I, I, I was up around like at this time. I saw this. So that we had a break in structure. We had gone down. We have retested the the imbalance. We had also tapped this order block down here. Um, order block, cross or call it maybe a breaker block. These two, these two down count uh, candles. Then we go to the five minute. So we're just dissecting it, right? We see the bigger picture, the higher time frame, what the market's telling us on the higher time frames, and then what we just do is dissect it in the smaller time frames. Okay, we go down to the smaller time frames. Um, I see all these orders. I see this all this accumulation. A lot of times, when there's accumulation. Um, order blocks, breaker blocks, whatever you want to call it. When there's accumulation like this, I always like it. I always just mark up the accumulation and most of the time it does retest it and just pushes higher. So my bias was, my bias was bullish, right? We break structure, we have these accumulations, we have um, these accumulations, which is an order block on the 15 minute. So everything's just aligning, right? Great, everything's aligning makes life easier we get a retest i was in the charts around like nine ish so i did the perfect entry today would have been um going to the one minute try to get the best entry possible sorry guys for my my computer it is a bit slow when i start recording and for the mic i am getting a new microphone so we'll have to be patient on that hold up sorry okay so right, the perfect entry would have been, um, if I was on the charts at time, would have been here, reached the TP, I'll tell you guys why my TP was there. And then we could have just hit a, what? Just left it at one to, one to three. If you wanna kept it kind of tighter at, at the order block we had marked out, would have been a one to six, but we don't wanna get greedy. Could have been like a good, could have been a really good uh, risk reward, right? So, um, kind of was mad. I was like, damn, like kind of missed out on that trade opportunity. That was like the trade of the day. Beautiful entry, right? Just shoots up as you can see on the five minute. So what do we do, right? We see it tap in and then I'm like, the odds of, the odds of, you know, I didn't want to miss this entry, right? I did get maybe a little greedy, we could say, but, um, it isn't the but I got in and like and it's like well, part of my rules, um, it's part of my strategy, right? So what I say, I'm like, okay, let's go into the one minute. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so we go into the one minute, right? We see here's where we wanted to get in, right? When it tapped our accumulation, it tapped our orders, it tapped a bunch of stuff. But then we see this, we see a uh, displacement. I was waiting for a displacement on the one minute, right? A big displacement, a big imbalance where I could catch the retest and get in, right? I see this one over here. 
they didn't really like it, wanted us to maybe just break these structures on the one minute, displace, and then wait for a retest. And that's what I did, and that's when I got in. Okay, so as you can see, I had this one minute imbalance over here. Let's see, does it, is it in line with the 15 minute? Dude, this thing is crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. This is okay. So look, check this out. This is our one minute order block. I mean, uh, imbalance or fair value gap. And look how it lines up with the 15 minute fair value gap. Okay. So when stuff like this just aligns, it just um, makes it so much easier um, to trade, right? Like it just, the confluences just add up and it makes it, I feel like it gives me a lot more confidence entering my trade. So what did I do here? Um, waited for it to retest the fair value gap, right? Tapped it, tapped it again, Wait, uh, waited for it to like, kind of show me that it was gonna get a good reaction off it entered right here set my stop a little bit i give myself i give the fair value gap um space to breathe this with the, with the, the stop loss and you, a lot of you might ask why was my tp there and i was basically like i said we saw the, sh the shift in structure right we broke structure to the upside on the five minutes and then the 15 i usually like breaker structures on the 15 and why was my tp there because um, that was the session highs. This was London session highs at open market. It was the open, right? The opening at 3 a.m. It was the highs. I had it, right? Marked out as my TP. And we kinda, I didn't hit my TP. I did hit my TP, obviously, look at this, but it was because of news. It looks like this because of news. I've never seen news affect a chart like this in a while. Um, we would've hit our TP, but we obviously, can't rely on news it could have just gone the op opposite way but i got out around this around this right here i got around this part right here um didn't want to risk it i didn't want to wait for news there's a news at there's news at 9 45 and there was a red there's a red folder at 9 45 and there's a red folder at 10 at 10 at 10 a.m you see it was like 9 42 i got out around this area uh made a good amount I was happy with my trade. I risked 2%. I'm on a 5K account, risk 2%. Uh, I made around like 1.2%, I think I made, which isn't bad at all. Um, I'll take it. Um, obviously, if I would have held, but that's hindsight. I'll, I would never hold news like this. It's just, I think it's just gambling at that point. But yeah, that's been my trade recap. Um, let me know if you guys want me to make more of these. Um, it's something I like doing. It's something I like, I've been doing for a little bit. I wanna get good at it. Um, I wanna make a li about living off this. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little trade recap. I'll do some more. Um, so yeah guys, leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.